Hey everyone, Ronaldo Waffman here with CompuShow Video Manuals and today I'm actually really excited to talk to you about the power of right click. Now in CompuShow you can assign many different functions for different uh, combinations of your mouse and keys. So for example I can control click to edit my program on the fly. I can control right click and I assigned it so I can pre-select the speed, dimmer, phasing and size of individual scenes or I can even change the priority, go into options that kind of stuff. But let's look at what happens when uh, I want to move things around. And I'll give you an example. I made a scene here and it's called Solid Orange. But I really meant to put that in solid colors. Instead, I was stupid and I put it under wedding presets. Well, I can go here and I can go into layers and layer settings and then move it around. That's fine and dandy, but if you've got lots of programs to either move around or you've got a lot of programs to begin with and a lot of scenes, a lot of switches, that can be kind of a pain where the sun doesn't shine. So what happens when I just right click? Well, instead of right clicking, clicking, because that'll open up the program, I'm going to right click, or right click and control click, sorry. If I control left click, it opens up a program. Watch. There we go, and I can edit it. But I'm going to right click and control at the same time. And you can see that little... Uh, no icon or uh, you know no, no, uh, not available icon but I'm gonna go to move it watch what happens I'm gonna let go bam it moved it there automatically that's pretty cool okay what happens if I move it to another page well let's say I have my inno bean page and I want to integrate this scene where I can trigger it from the master page not just from the inno page so again I'm gonna control right click and I'm gonna move it it automatically renames it the by the name of the page, which is one six page four five. And again, ignore those numbers. Those are the numbers that I named the page. But there's the no beam, and of course I can rename it. I'm gonna just call it no beam scene. And there it is. Super simple. Okay. Now let's just go ahead and just delete that for a second, because there's more that you can do to this. Okay, so we've already established that you can do some really cool stuff. I'm going to go to make a quick scene. I'm going to call it the solid orange and I'm going to make a new button named on that. And let's see, so we have new scene. We're going to put it under my wedding presets. We're going to call it entrance and we're going to have it, oops, as you see now, including the scene solid orange and including activated scenes and switches. Now that's going to activate what's available now, and that was a solid orange. But then when I edit it, or when I play it live, I realize, you know what? I don't like the movement that I chose for the inno beams. I can go here, back here, and I can edit it as I need to. But I don't want to do that, because that's a lot of work. So I'm going to go ahead and take this position that I like here, the circle. And again, I'm going to move it on top you with me here. And now it says, do you want to duplicate the button, position, circle, or copy the content inside the entrance? I'm just going to go ahead and copy it. And basically, it's literally going to take the data and move it into there. And we're good to go. If I decide, you know what, I didn't like the color that I chose or whatever. And I know I said inno spots and that's inno beams, but that's because he says multiple. But you get the point. I can now take... Let's say I want to change the color of the inno beams in this program here that I made in the master page. I'm just going to go here, move it on top, copy it, and now it's merged. This allows me that if I buy more lights, you know, or let's say I, you know, I have a, a new set of inno spot pros or inno spot elites, instead of having to go back and edit this, I can just quickly start merging scenes. But this also works the other way around. Let's say, uh, let's go back over here close this guy out and we're gonna go back to our pages and we have the QWH5 there's a page for the QWH5 let's move that over okay so I have this really cool you know I have the individual buttons here and I've made this pink and uh, baby blue and that's not available here now this pink and baby blue for the master controls all of my floods, my QWH5s, my Mega Tri-60s, my Tri-64s, my dots, etc. So again, I'm going to control click, whoops, 
got to be careful when you're on a trackpad. Control right click and I'm going to drag it over here. And this basically says that it was from the master page. I'm just going to go ahead and open it up and you'll see my QWH5. It basically extracted the programs just for the QWH5. And there's right there, simple color switch. Now, this became really handy because when I first programmed everything in CompuShow, I made everything in my master page for the most part. But as I started using individual pages, I'm like, oh man, I'm going to have to reprogram everything. Nope. I just basically started dragging everything out. And then I could hide these layers as I needed to or the zones or make new layers entirely. And I can have now everything on individual pages. So that is, in a nutshell, the power of right click and dragging. So again, just to show you the other way around now, we're just going to go ahead and just mess with this for a second. And I'm going to move this one and we're just going to make it solid red instead of pink, right? So there it is right there. I'm just going to ch save changes. And on my fixtures, just so you can see what's going on, now it's red and pink there according to that, okay? So we're good there. Let me... Uh, initialize out of there so it's no longer pink like it used to be and this one here is the pink and baby blue I want to drag my QWH5s and we're gonna copy that I watch what happens it copied the data from the QWH5 and merged it with what else was going on So when you program your stuff, let's say, for example, maybe you accidentally screwed up and you had one of your lights strobing, instead of having to go back and say, you know, oh, my QWH5s are strobing, okay, not a big deal, stick your shutter, put it back on top, copy it, and now it merges it back. So again, that's the power of right-click, or control, right-click, and drag, a lot of amazing stuff you can do with that. So again, this is CompuShow Video Manuals, so any questions or anything, leave them in the comments below. Uh, just as a reference, I am using uh, the September version. It should work on previous versions. If it doesn't, just keep a lookout on the CompuShow group for the September official version. Uh, if you don't know where that is, again, just go on Facebook and search CompuShow User Support Group. My name is Arnaldo Offerman. Thank you guys so much. Good night and God bless.